Now, the Supreme Court has, in a unanimous decision, dismissed a case challenging the construction of a national cathedral in Ghana. According to the Apex Court, the construction of the edifice is in tune with the social and political objectives of the constitution of the country. A leading member of the Convention People's Party, CPP, James Kwabana Bonfe, had dragged the state the Supreme Court, to the Supreme Court, arguing that government involvement in the construction of the cathedral was, quote, a subtle attempt to make Ghana a particular religious state which our constitution frowns on, unquote. Tony says Joseph Akable has more in his report. President Akufuado's vision. And again, like Solomon on that occasion, the building of the National Cathedral is to serve as a gesture of thanksgiving to God for his blessings, favor, grace, and mercies on our nation. This would not receive the expected public endorsement, especially when it emerged that some judges of the Superior Court would have to be relocated to make way for the construction. I do stand with the, the people that the government should locate another land because we have a lot of lands in Accra and outside Accra. I prefer they find a uh, another place and then they build yeah, because we have more lands. CPP's James Bonfair wants the highest court to declare that it is wrong for the state to be excessively entangled in any religion or religious practice. It is not for nothing that the framers of the Constitution 1992 took inspiration from the 1969, the Second Republican Constitution, to say that we are a secular state. The Ministry of Justice, however, argues that a country that has for many years observed principal religious celebrations such as public holidays cannot be said to be one that does not recognize the existence of a supreme. Some notable preachers have meanwhile backed the project. Duncan Williams is general overseer of the Action Chapel International. The Muslims have built a national mosque and nobody has complained about it. The seven-member panel comprising justices are Denira, Doche, Enin Yeboa, Badegbe, Akoto Bamfo, Benin and Mafusao in a unanimous decision dismissed the case. The court said government support does not constitute discrimination against other religious or non-religious groups. The judges further held that the case raises no issue of interpretation and enforcement of the constitution. For Deputy Attorney General Godfrey Yebo Adame, who made uh, the legal arguments throughout this case, uh, this gives government the green lights to pursue its agenda of supporting the construction of the National Cathedral. Of course, clearly the construction will go ahead, and, and as the, the court no, noted, all public lands are vested in, 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 the, in the president. It's the president who exercises the discretion to allocate one um, piece of public land for a specific purpose. So far as this is the public interest, and of course, clearly, the religious expression of Ghanaian is, is the public interest. So far as that has been established, that connection has been, has been um, struck, clearly it's constitutional. So indeed, the Constitution National Cathedral will go ahead for um, the, the glory of the, of the Most High Lord under whom we will all live in this country. Dr. Abdul Basit Bamba is equally excited that the frontiers of Ghana's laws have been extended with this declaration coming from the highest court of the land. Uh, I think this is a, a very good day uh, for the people of Ghana uh, because for the very first time in the history of this country, we have had the highest court of the land uh, basically making pronouncements that define the relationship between Ghana as a secular state uh, and religion. With the legal hurdle out of the way, a government joint use understands is going ahead with a series of fundraising campaigns all geared at ensuring that the project becomes successful. Reporting for joint news from the Supreme Court, my name is Joseph Akable.